Hello and welcome to another episode of Sealed for Good. My name is Adrian and I'm part of the technical team here at Gripset and I'll be your host for today's episode. Uh, so thanks for joining us and uh, we hope you enjoy. So in today's episode we're going to talk about a basic fundamental of the liquid waterproofing membrane application and that is coverage rates. So we'll look at the importance of following uh, manufacturer's recommendations, how they're determined and the implications when they're not followed. So we'll get straight into it. Uh, the coverage rate simply refers to the recommended amount of product to be applied for a given application. Now for liquid membranes, the coverage rate will typically be expressed in litres per square metre, uh, or for liquid cementitious membranes, it might be in kilograms per metre squared per millimetre of thickness. It will typically specify the minimum amount of coats to apply, how thick the wet coat needs to be, and also the overall dry film thickness. So why is it important to follow uh, manufacturer specifications and apply the product at the recommended coverage? The reasons may seem obvious, but before we delve into that, let's have a look at the reasons why they're not often applied as they should. And these are the things that uh, we come across uh, a lot of the time. So number one is not reading the instructions properly. And now this goes out to anyone that's ever tried to put like an Ikea flat pack together and then getting stuck halfway because they haven't read the instructions. The instructions on the bucket are there for a reason, but even without reading the instructions on the bucket, the information is also found on the data sheets, which should also be read in conjunction with the application. And the coverage rates feature quite prominently on both the bucket and the TDS, so there's really no excuse. Now, another quite common reason is inexperience. Uh, so you often have the, the handyman or the weekend DIYer using a, a waterproof membrane, perhaps for the first time. Uh, and often the first thing they might notice is the viscosity of the product when they open the pail. It's typically much thicker uh, than a regular paint. Um, but rather than translating that thicker viscosity into a thicker film, and applying it thicker. But the reality is, is that there's far less coverage typically with membranes because the recommended dry film thickness is, is much thicker, it's much higher. You're talking hundreds of microns for a membrane versus only tens of microns thick for paint. And last but not least, you have the conscious and deliberate act of not applying the product as thick as it should or in accordance with the coverage rate, recommended coverage rates. Uh, and this is done by typically people in the know uh, who are experienced uh, in waterproofing. And it's that deliberate act where, uh, you know, they believe they know better. You know, I've been in the game for X amount of time and you don't have to apply it as thickly as specified. That's just hogwash. The manufacturer is just trying to sell more product. You know, it'll still work if it's applied in a thin coat or the classic for wet area applications either the tiles and silicon are waterproof anyway. Water's never going to get down there. Uh, and that's just simply not true. Thanks for joining us for part one of this video. Stay tuned for next week's episode where we conclude our look into the importance of coverage rates. Hope to see you then.